I do really like this top, but whenever I wear it, it makes me feel a little bit like I should be a presenter on Rainbow, along with Jeffrey, I think his name was. Anybody else old enough to remember Rainbow? Bungle, Zippy? Nope, just me, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Honestly, my idea of a great party mainly just involves lying down, eating too much Chinese food, watching reruns of Drag Race. But unfortunately, it's coming up to that time of year where I actually have to attend real parties. What's all that about? The chances are that at any Christmas or New Year party, you'll either find me by the buffet table, negotiating how many sausage rolls I can fit on my plate. But even though the whole like socializing thing doesn't exactly float my boat all that much, any excuse to get dressed up in some kind of sparkly, delightful dress really does float my boat. The run up to that is maybe the most stressful time of the year. It's the most stressful time of this. The thought of trying to find an outfit for a Christmas slash festive slash New Year party sends me into some kind of existential crisis. I've spent a little while gathering a selection of party dresses from 10 different brands across the high street and I'm gonna try them on and we're all gonna witness the inevitably disastrous results together. I never know what's gonna suit me. I never know what's gonna make me feel vaguely decent about myself or what is gonna send me plummeting into some kind of self-esteem roller coaster of doom. So it's gonna be interesting to see how all the different styles, cuts, shapes look on me. I mean, there's some satin in this pile, which I'm very nervous about. But before I get stuck in with trying on a million different party dresses in a short space of time, I just wanted to give you a little reminder that one of the easiest ways to keep an eye on the clothes I've been wearing, if you like to get a little bit of style inspiration from me, what I've been buying, what I've been wearing, how it looks on my body shape that might be quite similar to yours, uh, the easiest way to see all that is on the app 21 Buttons. If you're a bit like me and need all the help you can get when it comes to outfit inspiration, um, it's a really cool, useful little app that you can just get straight onto your phone and you can browse through everything that I've been wearing recently if that's something that floats your boat but there is also loads of other youtubers bloggers general fashionistas on there you can click straight onto everybody's outfit photos discover the brands they've been wearing and you get direct links straight through to the exact items that people are wearing in their photos which is so useful if you see someone wearing a pair of jeans or a jacket that you've totally got your eye on and you can't find anywhere you literally just click the little button and it takes you straight through to it to shop. You can save specific items into your wardrobe, then you can discover different ways of wearing a particular item with the combine feature as well, which is really handy. The easiest way to shop all the dresses that I'm going to show you in this video will be through 21 Buttons. I'm going to be uploading some exclusive photos on there, so make sure you head over and check it out. You can upload your own outfits on there, or you can just use it for complete style inspiration. You can just scroll and scroll and scroll. So you can follow me on 21 Buttons at Lucy Jane Wood. I've been using it for ages now, so there is a ton of my outfits, past and present, on there that you can have a nosy through. I'm going to link 21 buttons in the description box down below so you can click through and download the app straight on there give me a follow and we can basically do like a big old clothes swap and then we can all end up wearing the same outfits and it's going to be magical if you do enjoy this video then please do give it a little thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new i can see stripes i can see satin i can see so many sequins all i want to do is wear my little rainbow t-shirt and a pair of jeans why does December do this to me? So I decided to just go for it. I've got a ton of party dresses sitting on the sofa here, waiting for me to assess. I'm not optimistic, I'll be honest. Imagine a big bowl of sausage meat and you get a big handful of that and then you wrap it in tinsel. That's, that's how most dresses out there make me feel. First up, this might actually be the most expensive of the bunch. And when I say expensive, I mean take out a small loan for this one. Apparently these sequins are made of solid gold. This is a little sequined thing from Warehouse. So I'm not really sure what I think about this, but we'll give it a try. I mean... I mean, the word diabolicals brings to mind. Actually, do you know what? Maybe the polar bear socks aren't helping all that much. Maybe I should ditch the polar bear socks. Okay, so this is the 99 pounds offering from Warehouse. Number one, 99 pounds. Are you, are you jesting me, sir? I think you can't really go wrong with that. Turns out you can go so wrong that you don't know which way is up anymore. Have I got this on backwards? Wait, do I have this on backwards? Maybe this is on backwards. <laughs> I almost hope this is on backwards because at least there's an excuse then for the fact that I look like a terribly unflattering Joseph and his amazing technical dream coat. Oh, this is the front. 
Oh, this is terrible news. Unfortunately, I am wearing this right. It's just a really bad time for everybody involved. A generous one out of 10. I mean, I like the colors. I do like the colors, but that might just be because it reminds me of Joseph and his amazing technical dream coat. My amazing colored coat. It really can't be much worse. Look at this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. A little accordion to play. Da, 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 da. Right, number two. I don't mean to panic you. I might be in love with a dress. I might have to go on that stupid TLC program where it's people that have fallen in love with weird things and got married to them, like the woman who married the Eiffel Tower. I mean, is this the best thing you've ever seen? I don't appear to have wide enough shoulders to make this sit perfectly. But maybe I can do something about that. I don't know, maybe I can go swim in a few times and then I'll broaden out slightly. The super sassiest of sequin dresses in the world. This is ASOS. Of course it is. ASOS, you never let me down. But there's like lilacs in there and golds and greens. I love the colours. And then we've also got this like silver star embellishment. So it's kind of like a night sky dress. I feel like it sort of takes me in at the right place here because I've got a semi-small waist compared to thighs the size of Jupiter. And I feel like it's a pretty good length as well. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of cellulite out, but who doesn't like a little bit of cellulite? Get your cellulite out for the boys, that's what I say. <laughs> but anyway, it's Christmas, New Year. You're probably gonna be a little bit drunk. There's gonna be some great cheese boards available, so who even cares about cellulite? Although it does probably mean no bra, which could have um, a series of unfortunate events. I've gotta say my favorite thing is these sleeves. I love a big sleeve. I just, I'm such a sucker for a big sleeve. Oh, I ruined my tinsel. Oh, also I'm stuck on myself. <laughs> well, I'm stuck. That's it. I'm fastened. No Macarena for me. No YMCA. No Cha Cha Slide. Maybe this isn't the dress for me. I am a disco ball. Honestly, why do I do this to myself? Number three, a prime golden categorical example of why you should never, ever let anyone on the internet make you think that you should own something. I'm just gonna warn you, um, this might be like certificate 12A because this is verging on inappropriate, this one. <laughs> why? Why? I mean, Literally, why? Am I okay? Uh, oh my god, I just went to tuck my hair the hammer ears and I can't even lift my arms up. It's so tiny. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a few logistical issues here. Let's put it that way. Number one, my non-existent boobs have suddenly become enormous. <laughs> Number two, I can't lift my arms any higher than this. So if you ask me to get a bowl out of the top cupboards, I can't help you, love. Number three, the buttons are looking like Santa himself. Um, I'm literally straining at the seams here. This is my misguided option. Um, in a moment of temporary madness, I thought this might look good. <laughs> Which is now a hilarious joke because this in fact looks like a stuffed cushion that you might put on your sofa as a decorative item. I thought this would be quite an oversized thing and the thought of an oversized blazer made me feel like it would probably make me hate my body forever. So I went for a smaller one than I would normally order. I now see that it's in fact not oversized at all and it's cutting off most of the circulation to my major limbs. It does literally not let me tuck my hair behind my ears, but it does kind of make me feel like an 80s power businesswoman. And maybe if it fitted, I'm gonna change out of this one. It's time that this went away. This bit just looks so much like a sofa cushion. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it also makes me feel a bit like a flasher. Just gonna put that out there. Right, number four. Another shop that never really lets me down. One of my faves, the winner of the Battle of the Christmas pajamas. Monkey! I went into Monkey, the actual shop on Carnaby Street, looking for a little party dress. And they actually didn't really have many options, to be honest. I don't know, I feel like parts of it are good and that I do really like. Like I love that it's just a little black dress. Like you literally cannot go wrong. If you are someone who thinks the word party and like instantly panics because everyone else is gonna look 
like something off the runway and you're just gonna be like, well, here's me. You can never go wrong. It makes you feel confident, always looks great. So I love that it's just a little black velvet dress. Also the wrap shape. Okay, that is super weird and just shows how utter nonsense sizing is of any kind because this is a medium. So I think I would actually need a small in this, which is unheard of. I am not a small anywhere other than in some kind of measurement of self-confidence and self-esteem. I'd very much be a small in that store. Like it's very wrinkly all down the sleeves. It's very wrinkly here. I don't have the boobs to fill this bit out here. Like this is really baggy. Like if you had a little sparkly hair clip, that would be nice. A little clutch bag, pair of heels. Now you're talking, that would be really cute. And obviously, little velvet dress makes me feel like I'm back in 1995, ready to go to my dad's Christmas work party and get one of those uh, art sets in a plastic like fold out book and even if I don't wear this to the party in question I would definitely wear this at some stage and I think they also had it in dark green I actually don't know if I can show you this one I actually think that putting this on the internet might make me want to switch off forever and never look at myself in the mirror ever again. Glad we could all share this experience together thumbs up for more positive vibes. Honestly if you're looking for a dress that makes you regress 10 years in your progress of body confidence, then I fully recommend this one. I believe this is Boohoo. I mean, it's it's really bad. It's, it's, it's really bad. This bralette is saving the day. I think it's time for me to go and join a cult in the distant Indian hills and never return because I shouldn't be allowed to be a member of society. <laughs> I'm, do you know what the irony of this is? Do you know what this is true cruel irony? Is that this is one of the dresses that I bought just because I thought it looked hilarious. I wanted to try it on because I thought it would be funny. So there's a lesson for me. Just because you think something will be funny doesn't mean it's a good idea to do it. Let this be a lesson to us all. Oh my god, I hate myself and all the decisions that I've ever made. Plus points, if my local theatre needs a spare curtain for showtime, I'm there. I'll help you out, I'll save the day, we can turn it into a new Richard Curtis Christmas movie and it will all be worthwhile because I'll save the local panto. Also if I ever decide to become a villain, I'm ready. Analysis, useful analysis. Um, everything about this is true fresh hell. I can't wait to remove this, burn it with ice fire, and then maybe lift the curse that has befallen upon me while wearing this dress. If you're genuinely thinking about buying this dress, um, good luck to you. I, I truly wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors. And when I walk like this, under his eye, it makes me feel a bit like I should be on The Handmaid's Tale. Quite like that in a Christmas dress. And now I need to go to therapy. Goodbye. Okay, if anyone happens to be going to like a palace ball or a date with a prince from a foreign land, this could be the dress for you. By the way, apologies in advance if the lighting is awful. Classic filming in December. One minute you're in pitch black, the next you can't see because the sun's so blinding. So I really wanted to include this one because this is like the dress that I've seen everywhere recently. It's from Topshop and it's a very reasonable 35 pounds and everyone's going nuts for it. But everyone that I see go nuts for it is like a size six to eight. And I've never seen anyone with a body like mine wear a dress like this. So I thought I'd give it a go and take one for the team. There's many things here that I could talk about that I'm gonna try not to talk about. Like this, and this, and this weird, this weird thing that it does to my thigh shape. Kinda makes me look a little bit like a mermaid who's changed her mind. So this bit is all scales underneath, and then this bit down here is legs. I just think this isn't made for me. I do really like the back as well, it's got this really pretty like cowl back which I think is really flattering although it just kind of looks a bit like a bucket that you could put extra snacks in. Be like, chuck a few stuffing balls in there. I feel like I would have to wear underwear from about here to here, maybe even over the top of my boobs so that it was one like smooth line. I can't be bothered to wear that to a party. If you think I'm wearing one big suction stocking when I'm trying to have a nice time, 
you're very mistaken my friend. I love the colour, love the material, really like the back. I think the back is really elegant and pretty, although it looks much more elegant on the model, just for a change. Other than that, it's just very really confusing, isn't it? It's quite a confusing experience wearing this dress. Like, what is this? This doesn't fit me very well. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem, it just doesn't fit me. Honestly, I've got too many deeply driven, cemented years of self-loathing to enjoy a dress like this. I think that's the problem that we're facing here. Coming in at number six, five, seven, I don't even know anymore. Life has lost all meaning. Okay, first of all, I just need to point out this, which literally looks like a dog lead hanging around my neck. Uh, for some reason, Pretty Little Thing put these like sashes on all their clothes now. And if you take it off, then you can't return it. I know my videos are a wild ride, but I didn't know we needed seatbelts. There isn't visions of fireflies dancing around me. This is just the reflection of the sequins. And I feel like there's a disco ball above me. This is actually so distracting. All I want to do is look at these like pretty lights all around me. So apologies in advance if that's super distracting. I really like this. I think this is really cute and I would never have thought that I would like this because it's verging on bodycon and I am allergic to the words bodycon. Get this out of my way <laughs> before I continue. I think the color is really cute. I like the nude creamy kind of color, which I also would have presumed that I would stay a million miles away from because in my head any kind of colour like that is something to stay far away from. But actually it turns out it looks really cute. I think it looks nice with my hair colour and uh, maybe if I ever bother to fake tan ever again in my life that would be a good shout too. And then it's covered in these amazing little like sequin tassels which I think look really pretty. I honestly ordered this as like a last resort because there was a lot on the Pretty Little Thing website that I thought no chance. It makes me want to put on like a big soundtrack of 70s disco songs or maybe just like a couple of musical numbers. And all that jazz. Confession, I can't reach and do the backup. It's too high and awkward. So um, I haven't quite managed to do it up at the back, but it would do up, I think. I actually think it fits quite nicely. I'm gonna rouge my knees, rouge your knees. Why are you doing that? We're having another sequin moment. Not sure what this dance move is. Dislocated shoulder. I would probably normally avoid this store at all costs, but this is from River Island. And I really like this, like really like it. Almost as much as I like the flared sleeve off my ASOS. So this is just kind of like a fancy t-shirt dress basically, which is probably why I like it so much. And I think this looks so cute. I love this like smoky, grey kind of colour. Maybe it's just the fact that you literally can't see every inch of body fat within my presence like you've been able to in a couple of these dresses. I think this looks so much nicer. I'm a little bit more chilled out. Like those fancy dresses are just not me. I feel like a lot of you will relate to this is when you're trying to hunt for a party dress. Something that you don't hate your upper arms in. I think upper arms are like one of the most common things that we tend to like hate about ourselves. I don't know, well I know why, the diet industry obviously, but upper arms especially are something that a lot of people really really have a lack of confidence with I think and it's hard to find a dress that makes you forget about that. The length of the sleeves it's almost like even a little bit past your elbow so it's quite sort of like boho feeling. You just wear a normal bra and a normal pair of knickers and you just put a nice pair of nude heels on and you're done, you're sorted. I think this is maybe like the best all-rounder option that we've had so far. I think this would suit literally everybody. Okay, next up we have the Supermarket Special, Supermarket Sweep. So this is courtesy of George at Asda. It's a George Special and it's pretty nice. So I've left my bralette on to show you this because there is not enough tape in the world. It fastens here with a little hook and eye. So I really like this neckline. I'm not sure about the risk potential. You'd really have to strap yourself in there. It's actually a little play suit. I didn't realise. I thought this was a dress, so apologies for kind of cheating. I feel like there's good and bad things about this. Number one, I love the sparkly design. I think this looks really pretty. I would never guess this was from Asda. I love the sleeves. You know, I love a sleeve. Um, and these are my favourite little kind of flared sleeves. Love the top half. I'm not so mad keen on the bottom half. It's like a little bit too fitted for me. I really wish that the shorts were like this kind of flared shape as well. Like if it went out a little bit and it was a bit more floaty, but there's just something about it that would make me not feel confident in it. And I think it's the tight shorts. I mean, they're not tight. Like there's room in there, they fit, but I just wish it was a bit more floaty. Like I think it's a bit too fitted 
round here for me to feel confident in. Do you know what I mean? And also, the potential of when you're a bit drunk and you need a wee such a faff. Not everyone lives the glitter life. Not everyone's all about the sparkle, the gold and the glitz. A lot of people like something a bit more plain and maybe a bit of pattern or colour instead. So I found this one on I Saw It First. Maybe this one is quite good for if you don't really want to buy like a specific Christmas dress. Maybe you just want a new little dress that you'll wear again. Because a lot of these you'll probably wear them once Christmas New Year and then you're done. You don't want to wear that for like a random night out. I think the shape of this is really pretty. It's quite short, not gonna lie. So you like happy Christmas sell you late. But it's probably just about long enough that you could wear cycling shorts underneath to avoid the New Year chub rub. You know what I'm talking about. I just like how really simple this is as well. Like if you're all about looking a bit more underdressed, put a nice little jacket on with this. You could even wear this with trainers and it would look really cute. It's almost like a little bit 60s isn't it? Like the fact that it's short and then it's got slightly flared sleeves and this like wrap v-neck to it. It's quite sort of like vintagey looking. This is a surprise. I was fully expecting to put this on and be like, ew. But actually, do you know what? With a nice pair of like gold heels maybe or tan heels and you could make this like a little bit boho-y retro. I might just keep this for like random nights out. I think I probably wouldn't. I like to go a little bit more sparkly when it's like a special occasion. I'll sparkle like a disco ball. Follow the call of the disco ball. Oh, I'm chuffed that we found a little gem. A little affordable gem that you can wear again and again. So good, it even rhymed. Right, confession time. I've actually cheated a little bit here because I bought two options from ASOS because I loved the other one, but then I also spotted this and I wanted to live my 80s realness through this dress. I'm all about velvet when it comes to winter. Basically my whole wardrobe transforms into velvet. Uh, so this fits right in because it's like this little scarlet velvet material. And then obviously it's got this huge ruffle over it, which I'm very into. Honestly, this dress makes me want to like put my hair in a big scrunchie and dance around to Madonna and maybe a bit of Whitney Houston. I'm thinking this would be very cool paired with some like proper platform heels, like some really fun shoes a big leather jacket. I feel like you might have to make this look a bit cooler though, like maybe if I wore my hair to one side like that and it'd look a bit cooler rather than like little girly. And okay, like I'm sure I've tried on ones that are more flattering, but it's all about what you like the most. It doesn't matter what your, what your like hips look like in something. If you love it, who bloody cares? It's Christmas. This is a surprising dark horse. I know it's a bit mad. It's probably not for everybody but I like the back of it too. I, th I like the fact that there's so much of your back on show. I think that looks really nice. Can't dance to my full potential here. Or maybe not too bad actually. And then when you put your arms up, it looks like you've got a mad cape. It's like that year when Rage Against the Machine suddenly shot up the charts and it was a surprising Christmas number one and it was totally different from the normal thing and it took everyone by surprise, but everyone loved it in the end and it was a Christmas miracle. Well, that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. That is a grand total of several thousand party dresses that I've just tried on there. Some good, some so terrible that they should probably be burned immediately. And all that's left to say is, cheers! Wish I had a beer to cheers you, but cheers! Have a great new year, whatever you end up wearing. Um, I hope you feel great in it, whatever it is. Oof, well, that was a ride. That, that was that was a ride. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, my favorite part about doing all of this is chatting to you in the comments. So make sure you drop me a message down below. Let me know what you thought. Please be kind. There was some good, some bad, and some, some truly confusing. Don't forget as well that everything you need to know about 21 Buttons is gonna be in the description box down below. You can find all of my looks. I don't think anything I ever do is a look. Let's go for outfits. You'll be able to find all of my outfits and shop them with just one click through 21 Buttons. So make sure you hit the link in the description box down below to find out more. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood. I hope you are having the most amazing Christmas time. I hope you have an awesome new year, whatever you end up wearing. If you end up wearing the most glamorous dress out there, or if you just spend the whole night in your fleecy PJs. I mean, I know which one I'd rather do. Happy new year, everybody. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.